the uh, sustainability word itself is a very complicated, but at the same time you understand more sustainable way of living is important. How you can live a sustainable. So sustainability, sustainability and sustainable living and to sustain life, you have to work with nature. It's a daily practice. It's a practice that makes you uh, one of the champions for this planet, you know, to contribute better for this uh, planet. So if you look at the waste, the waste, general waste that we have, 60% of what we generate from our home, what we release from our home is organic waste that is coming from our kitchen. It encourage others to plant or you ask others, request others to do something uh, other uh, with other uh, activities and other things also. So this planting uh, uh, is very important for us to what planting you wanted to do, whether it's a vegetable, whether it is the annual crops or whether it is a forest tree or is a afforestation. <music> journey with um, cloth pads started not long after I moved to India, which was, I moved to India in 1997. And one of the first things that I discovered and was confronted with as a kind of challenge was actually how I would manage um, my dealing with my own sanitary waste. <music> attended a government workshop long back in which they had got a mission. So they, uh, two of them had got missions for a brand new substitute. They said, maybe we can try that. So we said, okay, we'll try to figure out. I said, I'll look for orders. I'll ask. Every region has their own cropping pattern. That pattern has a more, I think, is a, is a is a national heritage pattern. Not just is a just whatever the number of varieties, diversity of crops we are growing. I planted hundred varieties in one acre. I think that there's a wrong number is not important. The adaptability of crop and the seed is important.